From the sun-soaked vineyards to the elegant cellars, these series uncork the drama, passion, and complexity of the world of wine. So grab your favorite glass and join us on this intoxicating journey through these best TV shows about wine. A quick disclaimer before we start, keep in mind that in this countdown we're featuring only scripted shows and that these series are listed in no particular order. With that out of the way, this is TV Show Pilot, and here are our top five TV shows about wine. The Kings of Napa. Don't let him hijack the throne. What throne? Your dad is gone. We'll start off with a drama from the Oprah Winfrey Network, The Kings of Napa. This show delves into the opulent world of the Kings, a powerful family that owns a thriving Napa Valley vineyard. After the sudden death of patriarch Reginald King, the family is sent into disarray over who will manage the family's wine empire. So Reginald's three children have to learn the ins and outs of managing the vineyard, all while investigating the accident that killed their father. Promised land. And that conversation that you keep promising we're gonna have about when you're gonna hand over the reins, we're having it. You have no idea how many other labels call me. Oh. Another great wine series that premiered in 2022 is ABC's Promised Land. Set against the lush vineyards of California's wine country, the show centers on the Sandoval family, who own the successful Heritage House vineyards in Sonoma Valley. As the family's patriarch Joe is getting ready to pass on the management of the vineyards to one of his children, secrets come to light that threaten not only the success of the business, but also the future of the whole family. Under the Vines Oh, I almost forgot! Keys and a bottle of Stanley. This is just sediment. No, that is Stanley! <gasps> He said you'd know what to do with it. Then we have New Zealand series Under the Vines. This two-season dramedy follows Australian socialite Daisy Monroe and UK lawyer Lewis Oakley, two step-cousins who inherit Oakley Wines, a struggling vineyard in the fictional wine region of Peakview in New Zealand. Neither of them has any experience in running a vineyard or navigating the industry, and winemaking is no easy business but they're determined to make it work, despite their own shortcomings. Falcon Crest You see, my father's greatest concern was that Falcon Crest remain in the immediate family. And he wrote a will to protect us all. And I must say, he did a fine job. Yes, he did. We're going back to the 80s with this next show. CBS's Falcon Crest focuses on the affluent Channing family, who run the renowned Falcon Crest winery in the charming Tuscany Valley, and their ongoing saga of intrigue and betrayal. At the center of the series is the family's matriarch, Angela Channing, who runs the vineyard with an iron fist. But when her brother dies and his son Chase inherits part of the family business, the two develop a fierce rivalry that shakes up the family's vineyard empire. Drops of God I spent nights down here with your father. He used to write these little notes to describe the wines or mark important dates. Sometimes they only made sense to him. And last, but definitely not least, we have Drops of God. Loosely based on the Japanese manga series of the same name, this multilingual series follows Camille, who learns that she's on the track to inherit the biggest private wine collection in the world. Left by her estranged father, Alexander, the collection is worth nearly $150 million. But there's a catch. Camille isn't the only heir. Alexander's protege, Issei Timin, is also named in the will. And to find out who will claim the inheritance, the two have to complete three nearly impossible tests that will test their limits. Do you agree with our picks for the top five TV shows about wine? Let us know in the comments! Check out tvshowpilot.com for the full list of the best wine series, and don't forget to subscribe to the TV Show Pilot YouTube channel for more videos like this.